In this video, we're talking about a very important rule in criminal procedure regarding judges. And specifically, if you're charged with a crime, can you fire your judge? It's not called firing, but it's called changing a judge. And yes, as a matter of right, if you're charged with a crime and your case is being prosecuted and you're in front of a judge that you don't like, you have the right to fire that judge. You have the right to change that judge. The rule is, is held within the rules of criminal procedure in Arizona, and it's rule 10.2. And if you look that up, you'll see very specifically that it says, and this is a quote from the rule, change of judge. Each side in a criminal case is entitled to one change of judge as a matter of right. Meaning, you really don't have to have any specific reason why you want to change that judge. You can go in, file a motion, as long as you use the proper language and you have a, a purpose for doing so that is not prohibited, you can ask for a different judge. Go right in, fire that judge. We do it very regularly. It depends on uh, the case, it depends on the court, and it of course depends on the judge. But the rule says you have to do it for a proper purpose. There cannot be an improper reason for you to file a change of judge. And so let's review some of those improper purposes. Number one, and there's, there's several of them, we're gonna only cover uh, five of them. The number one reason you can't do it is for some sort of unreasonable delay. So you can't use it for the purpose of causing a delay in your case. The second reason that we see is most relevant as to why you can't do it is for some reason of discrimination. So you can't uh, single out a judge's gender or uh, ethnicity or, or some, some sort of reason that would constitute discrimination, you can't move for a change of judge, you can't fire your judge due to discrimination and for any discriminatory purposes. The next reason, you can't do it in a, in a blanket fashion. So if you have one particular judge that you don't like from a defense attorney's perspective, you can't just constantly and constantly file to fire that judge. It's, it's a blanket motion and you can be denied that motion or you can be uh, reprimanded or, or at least called into the office by maybe the presiding judge to say this is not appropriate. Similarly, you can't do it to gain a benefit in geography. So if you don't like where your current court is or if it has a single judge out of that court and you want to fire your judge to get a better geographical location, that's an improper purpose. And finally, if you don't like a plea deal or if you're, if you're trying to get a better plea deal or a better outcome on your case, that's an improper reason to file a notice for a change of judge. But as long as you go through those rules and you say, I'm, I'm filing our motion to, to change a judge, I wanna exercise my right under the rule 10.2 of criminal procedure, and I'm not doing it for one of these improper purposes, there are several other improper purposes, but these are kind of the main ones, and you're doing it uh, using the correct language and following the rule, you can fire your judge. So, something that is very important, you can actually a maneuver your case around to, 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 to get a fa more favorable outcome in your case, but it's important that you follow the rules, all right? This is how to fire a judge, rule 10.2 of the rules of criminal procedure. Thanks for watching, happy Halloween.